Yo, 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 what up, guys? So Flux here. Today, I have a gameplay with Grux. Finally, could go and build him tanky. Also, I have Blood Soak Armor on him. Really helpful. It could stack up with right click as well as the alt. So, hopefully, you guys do enjoy this. Drop a damn luck if you guys do. Let's get right into it. First thing is Adamant Edge, all strikes. Second thing, Adamant Edge again, major cast, greater health, and health. And then you have an Amulet Veteran. This is just a temporary card. All lesser drains, I mean, lesser health. Uh, Blood Silk Armor is going to have all greater guards. And then the Ambulance Temporary card as well. As well as the Siphon because that's just going to help you jungle really, really well in the beginning. And as well as just have crit a little. So that's why I ended up doing that. And then you have a Sage Ward that has two lesser health and a Strike. Wind Carver Blade is going to have a Major Kinetic and two Strikes. And then lastly, Thermal Bond. The reason why I have this. And then, if you guys did finally figure out why I have so much HP, this is really going to help with this. 12% of your HP is going to go up, you know, if you're at 12% of 3,000, for example. You know, you're going to get a lot more HP than if you had a total of 1,000 HP. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Drop a damn like if you guys do. Let's get right into it. So Grux and this badass new skin, it's fucking lit as shit. Now I'm fucking around, the skin's older than me. But it's fine, playing it, I'm playing well with it. And I was like, why not? Eventually soon I am going to open up loot crates and all that, so keep an eye out on that. And just going ham on this gameplay, really, really helpful. Especially they kept ganking mid, so I wanted to try to prevent that. As well as we had Lieutenant Bellica, she could stun up, do work. So what I was trying to do... Pulling people into the damn tower. Didn't have it at the moment, but it's fine. Went and made sure that the next person we destroyed, it was going to be this damn Grux. I don't know why he stayed. I don't know why he was itching his ass, tickling it, or doing circles. I chased him down. We just destroyed him. I was trying to body block for the Lieutenant Belka. Didn't even notice I was going to die. And pretty much clutched it for this Lieutenant Belka. Made a good play on my part, I guess, and her part as well, because we both didn't die. So that was great. We destroyed this damn Revenant. Came out of nowhere. He got wrecked. This Lieutenant Belka was just doing work with the right clicks and just stunning people in general because that's what you guys need her for. You know, initiate even. Like, if you just see a guy in the fucking river, you fucking toss him up in the air, you right click, that's it, game over, and you're just destroying half of their HP instantly. So, imagine if your team was there, tossing him up, tossing him to half HP, and then all of a sudden your whole team's there destroying his life. So, the great part is we destroyed this Revenant, came out of nowhere, didn't miss an ability on it. What the shit? Honestly, I was an inch away from taking that out of the video. The guy was legit doing circles around me. And I was just going to just delete that so nobody would see that L. Yeah, that was a bad, bad L. Nobody saw that. He handed it to me right over my shoulders. But I don't know why this guy initiated. Missed everything too, except on the Revenant. But we still destroyed him. And pretty much he altered when there was only one ADC. So for example, why would you initiate if there's an ADC there only on your team? The Grux wasn't behind him, Lieutenant Bellica was still mid, and I wanted to dash away. She could have ulted me right there and I probably would have died. But I wanted to dash out, make sure that she couldn't right click or even do any abilities through the wall or just hit me and toss me up in there and ult. So we was trying to prevent that, destroy this damn Grux, I don't know what he was doing. Went for the Lieutenant Bellica, this Lieutenant Bellica, RIP, RIP Nation. She got ulted by Decker and was just doing circles like it was a fucking ring. You know, she was game over from there. Destroyed her life. She could have probably ulted me, but she would have probably hit me like 150 or so. So, the good thing is, she got wrecked. We were holding off mid like a champ. We are trying to prevent them from destroying this T1. Doing work and making sure that we even ganked right. This Yin pulled up trying to destroy all the minions. We did all of our abilities on her. She got wrecked right away. It was stupid of me for even trying to pull her in. The good news is, we pushed right lane all the way. They didn't even try to defend, really. They actually tried to defend, but late, because they did split. Some went to the jungle, some went mid, because we had all of our lanes pushed up. And then that gave us the advantage to push up. None of them ganked us, none of them flanked, nothing. So that gave us the advantage to push up all the way. We destroyed two of the towers, and we just went ham. So that was very, very good of us. And then, if anything, they were going to get an L again, because that wasn't going to stop me. Had black buff. This Yin was Big Dick Johnson the third came out of nowhere trying to fucking kill everyone. We destroyed her and then she just died midair. I think uh, Revenant Cuter, she got wrecked midair. We destroyed the tower. I don't know where their partners are at the moment. I think they were trying to push left and that gives the advantage, honestly. I don't know what happened. I don't know what they were thinking, but good news is 
Decker ulted, which was very good because that gave us the advantage to destroy the tower, no problem, as well as we destroyed the damn Grux. Easy peasy. I ended up dashing to him because I thought I could kill him with the dash, also get out of the situation. But I guess not. That wasn't going to happen. Handed an L really quick. So pay attention. We have right side completely destroyed, middle almost destroyed, and left completely perfect. So that's what we're trying to do. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, this build I have during the gameplay... It was just directly HP and damage, but I played with Grux, did great with him with the build in the beginning, and that's why I showcased that instead of this, because I wanted him to be a frontline, wanted him to have Blood Silk Armor, help with War Prime, etc., so that's why I have that build in the beginning, and it's really, really helpful, like that as well, and the good news is, we're still handing out L's out here, even though if I had no cards equipped, that's a good thing. We were still doing great, so, you know, shout out to everyone that played with me. This Yin actually had black buff. She could have turned around and destroyed my life, or at least destroyed my HP. You know what I mean? But she didn't kill us. The good news is, destroyed the damn camps as well as tossed her out of the gutter. So if you guys do notice, at the moment, they have Yin down, which isn't their only ADC. They have Revenant, as well as have Grux. So what I did was, push down, took their green buff, saw this guy about to initiate, so I followed him. He probably thought I wasn't going to chase. And we ended up trying to pick one off one by one. Pulled them both in. I really thought I wasn't going to hit one. And then we destroyed this Grux. Obviously, shouldn't have ulted there because either way, I was going to kill him. But Decker ulted, destroyed his life. And I was trying to use the gold buff to at least tower dive or just even destroy the minions after it blows up. So that was my goal. They kept pushing me very, very hard. So I was there 95% of the time with Lieutenant Belka. Well, good news is, my green buff blew up. Bad news is, didn't end up killing him. Lieutenant Belka clutched it for his life. Literally, got super lucky. I don't know how. But I think the Decker destroyed his life, which was super funny. She ended up doing her shield, clutched it, and actually countered the Revenant's Q, which was very, very good. That was super funny, too. Like, think about it. A freaking Decker chasing you down, and you're scared shitless, shitting bricks. So, that was super funny. And then we're going for this Grux. Bad news is, I got fucking pulled in before my pull and activated and initiated anything, and we ended up just tossing him out of the gutter. This guy missed his ult. I don't know how he missed it. And it was just a very awkward fight, just from the beginning, because I went in, we lost, went back out, still did his all, missed as well, and me and Lieutenant Belka left safely, so that's our goal. The funnier part is, we ended up pulling the skin out of the gutter, you know, obviously she was shit in the bed, all of a sudden I got ulted, got destroyed by 13 people, got the hands really quick, but thankfully Lieutenant Belka ulted the yin, really thought she wasn't even gonna die. She legit had almost max uh, mana, so that super, super clutch nationed it. You know, we ended up just killing her. She couldn't level. That's very, very helpful in the squad. And she couldn't do as much damage as their Revenant because their Revenant, I think, was ahead. Yin was shitting the bed. And that was just good overall because we were trying to stop them from farming. Ended up getting blocked by these minions. And I was just doing circles around fucking Yin's ult. I don't know why. Don't even ask why I didn't press E because obviously just in case anything did happen, I wanted to make sure that I was able to telly out or even just dash out. So that was my goal. This guy thought he big dicked it and ended up getting out we ended up catching him between his stab blink or his telly blink whatever it was his fucking blink charm and we ended up just clutching it that was very very helpful we ended up stopping him from the farm as well and what that team fight actually initiated was them getting an l because right after we found out they weren't leveling as much this game kept dying kept feeding us it felt like it was lunchtime for us, like legit, we kept destroying her, and we are just taking advantage of that. Around here, and around this time, we ended up just pushing mid, they couldn't stop us, and honestly, I would feel bad for these kids, but at a serious note, I always have these horrible games where I'm getting shat on too, so don't worry, hopefully we could all make a club soon and just join each other and fucking have a little book club after and make books about it, why not? So besides that, that pretty much wraps it up. We destroyed them, played it, went mid, destroyed the core. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. And uh, please don't subscribe. That's number one. Number two, we gave the steal an L really quick. I don't know how uh, he ended up just jumping in with no mana. As well as do not like. That's my uh, goal. Is I'm fucking kidding. Please like. Please subscribe, guys. I'm fucking. I'm begging you guys. Please. All right. Just uh, I'll jump off my roof. That pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys for coming out. I'm out. Peace.